Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and today's video we got kind of a new series I'm going to do. Um, this one's about Spencer James and I'm going to, you know, simulate his high school career. You know, this is this, I guess, series or videos I'm going to do is just about like different athletes from TV shows or, you know, movies that, you know, I'm just going to simulate their careers or whatever. Um, in this episode, we got Spencer James. I'll try to do it like to the best of my ability to make him look like Spencer James using just the base settings, um, you know. But you know he, I mean I I haven't finished All American. I'm in the middle like I'm in the middle like season three. Um, but what I'm watching, I think at the end of like the last season, he is currently playing for the South Crenshaw Chargers, and that's in L.A. So we'll do the Los Angeles Chargers. So he's gonna start start out his career with the Los Angeles Chargers, and uh, you know this is rookie season. Um, you know I try to make. You know everything equipment wise to the best ability made all height and weight um you know as accurate as possible for this character and uh yeah we'll just you know see how this career goes will he be a super bowl champion will he make pro bowls or will he be a bust when will he retire how many teams will he be on honestly i don't even really know but um we are going to find out here now, starting out with the Chargers, they have literally everyone from last year. They, I mean, it's the same roster. You have just add Spencer James, who's probably going to be a key player for them for the Chargers. And uh, you know, um, in this year's playoffs, we did not end up making the playoffs in his first year. Um, the team, you know, it didn't do too hot. You know, we're still getting adjusted to, you know. Having the same team except just add Spencer James, you know, I guess it was just tough. Um, we couldn't really get it done, really inconsistent. Spencer James is young, Justin Herbert's still young, you know. Um, but, you know, I we do have a lot of faith for this team, and I feel like they're going to work out as a dynamic duo. And uh, Spencer James did end up his career with a 81 receiving catches and 1,500 yards. Not too bad, um, and, he, and he ended off his rookie season with the Pro Bowl, so, you know, obviously, Justin Herbert and Spencer James are working together, but, you know, it's just something else, and, um, you know, and then this is was the playoff picture, you know, obviously, they didn't make it, um, you know, and, you know, it, it's, t it's tough to see, um, you know, AFC was just a little bit more stacked this year, especially with the breakout of the Bengals, because it's, it's still the same season from this past year. Um, you know, he didn't really, I don't, he didn't get an offensive player of the year award. Um, he, I think he did get on the best receivers list. Um, or, you know, he was, uh, in voting for offensive player of the year. Um, but not best receiver of the year, which I thought was weird. And, uh, you know, he's going to end off his career, his first, for his rookie season with a missed playoff, which is fine, but a pretty decent rookie. That's a pretty good de uh, rookie, uh, opening season of his career. And he did end it off with being a seventh in voting for offensive rookie, uh, or seventh in vo voting for offensive rookie of the year, and uh, um, you know player of the year, and ended off on a Pro Bowl. But uh, now we're about to start his sophomore season in the league, his sophomore season with the Chargers, and hopefully maybe we got some players back that were injured, and you know we do have a lot of hope for this season. He spent the first year getting getting in, in you know in there, but. Uh, uh, you know, now this season they get the fifth seed in the playoffs, and you know they do really good this season. A lot of wins. They almost went went out like after their bye after their bye week. They they won almost every single game, and their first game is a wild card game against the the Bills, and we are the fifth seed. Um, you know, so I, I think I, I think we're probably favored, and then we do end up winning against the Bills, and now we're facing the Bengals, who are fourteen and three. And, you know, they're probably the favorites to win over us. And, you know, Spencer just got his first playoff win. You know, who knows? This young Chargers team just got their first win. And now we're facing the second seed in the playoffs who went to the, who went to the Super Bowl last year. I don't know if they actually won it against the Buccaneers. I'm not sure. I didn't really keep track of that. But, um, you know, this is probably going to be the, their first actual test um, and to see how Spencer James' career is going to go on from here. And, uh, you know, it was a hard-fought battle between Spencer James' Chargers and the, uh, you know, the Bengals. But uh, no matter how hard they tried, they just could not 
seemed to get the win, and you know the Bengals did end up beating us, and they went to go to the AFC Championship. Um, you know, but um, looking at the stats for the season, um, it was an improved um, season. You know, receiving yards uh, or receiving catches, he got ninety. He got more ninety more catches, a little bit less yards, more TDs, um, just a little bit less um, yards, but it's still very highly productive. Um, sophomore season in the league especially coming off that um that really good um you know season in the league and uh he also did get pro bowl he went to the pro bowl um again um which is i forgot to put in the clip there but he did end up going to a pro bowl for the second year and now we are in his third year of his career and he did sign a he did make an extension off of his rookie deal so three or two years and he just said you know what i'm gonna spend two more years here um, we'll get this done. If it not in two years, you know, we'll see what happens next. But you know, sophomore season is over. Now it's on his third year's career on his big contract extension, and now we'll see. You know, the playoff bracket. Unfortunately, we did not end up making the playoffs this year. Um, I don't know how we didn't end up making. I didn't check if there was any injuries. Um, it looked like we were healthy. I think we were healthy all year. It just wasn't the books. Something went wrong. Um, just we didn't do too hot um and as you're about to see in our schedule in our team schedule we're about to see you know who you know who we face and you know it wasn't really a tough schedule to, per se um it's just you know we just didn't do too hot i mean we went we i mean we almost made a run to the playoffs you see our, our last like after our bye week we we did a win that we won out but on our first couple of games, we just, you know, just our first couple of games, just that's what did us in. I think that's the reason why we didn't make the playoffs this year in his third year of his career. Um, you know, it, it was tough, but, um, you know, we're about to look at his stats and awards, see how much uh, he did this year. And let's see. He did 84 catches, 1,149 with eight TDs. Less, it's probably his worst year. I mean, okay, listen. It's about the same um, as his past years, a little bit less. He did end up on a Pro Bowl, his third Pro Bowl in a row. So he, obviously, Spencer James is not the problem. The problem is with front, is with management, is with quarterback. I don't running back defense, probably defense. To be honest with you, too, but this is his last year on his extended contract, and he's saying if we don't win it now, or make a deep run now then or maybe it just doesn't feel right then i will test free agency not go to different teams He's not going to declare but he, he he probably will test free agency um at the end of this year if, if they don't make a deep run and you know a, a hard fought season and spencer james really shined this season um you know uh, and he really put it all for the team the team you know kind of gave back to him as well and he, this is where this is really his gap of just excellence just starts to exceed over the league, and this is where his his excellence just he's just dominating the league honestly, and it shows because they get the first seed in the playoffs. Um, you know he puts in all that hard work, has an amazing season. The defense probably did something this year. Justin Herbert and them are in sync. Everything's in sync for this team. They are the first seed, in, and all of his hard work starts to pay off as he dominates as one of the best receivers in the league. And we're going to go look at his stats. And he has 82 catches for 1,000 yards with 8 TDs. Now, statistically, that is his worst year so far out of the four years he's been here. But, again, it's still it's similar to all his other ones. He's still really consistent. Um, he's, re he's just a really consistent player, um, you know, which, which is good. It, 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 maybe it drops off just a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's, it's fine at the end of the day. Really consistent. And consistently putting his all in for the team. That's how they get that first seed in the playoffs for the AFC. Now, um, the Raiders do end up beating the Ravens, so now our first uh, test this playoffs goes against the Rams, and it was a hard-fought battle between the Rams. Um, Spencer, I actually saw the stats at the end of this game. Spencer actually went off. Like, he went off in this game. He made a bunch of catches, um, and it ended up paying off because they're going to the AFC... Um, they're, they're, they're moving on and, but they do end up losing to the Chiefs 
Um, it was a hard-fought battle. Spencer James actually did terrible. That game, I'm not going to lie to you. But he did end off this season on his fourth straight Pro Bowl with the Chargers. And uh, he, no, he didn't really he didn't get any awards this year again. Um, I don't even think he was in running for Offensive Player of the Year for the AFC or even Best Receiver. I don't think he was in running for Best Receiver either. But... Um, or he was. He got eighth in voting. Um, but here was his stats again for those of you who missed it. Not his best one, but best team run so far. But you know what? Spencer James, he decided that, um, you know, he wants to spend another year here. He extends it one more season. He said, but instead of making a deeper, if he doesn't win it this year, he is going to test free agency. Maybe he might re-sign back, but he is going to test free agency if they don't win it this year. Um, so this is really a make-or-break year for Spencer, for Spencer James and the Chargers. And Spencer James actually did um, really good this season. Or sorry, his team did. Uh, or I guess they didn't really do too well, but Spencer James um, still was staying consistent with those numbers and those stats as he put up a hard-fought season. Um, didn't end up making the playoffs at all. Um, he put up 87 catches for 100, 1,158 1, yards and five touchdowns. It is one of his best years so far, receiving wise. Maybe not touch, receiving touchdown wise. So hard fight year, hard year for him. But he didn't make it the Pro Bowl, and now he's demanding release. They didn't make the playoffs this year. He did one of his best seasons, and he didn't had nothing to show for it. The team couldn't support him. He is now leaving, and you know. This is where the show starts to shine. And maybe Coop from the show is recording in New York, you know what I mean? Um, maybe Billy Baker kind of... Billy Baker played for the Giants, so maybe he swayed him in um, to him. But, you know, this is still at the end of the day his decision. It's between the Chargers and the Giants. I'm going to be real... Between the Chargers and the Giants. And uh, you know what? He decides that he's going to stick with the Giants, you know what I mean? So many pros. Coop is recording in New York. Let's just say that. I don't know. And, you know, Layla is, a, is her producer, and maybe them are together, and Billy Baker, you know, wants him to go there. And, and New York actually just got the first seed in the NFC this past year. Danny Dimes almost won Offensive Player of the Year. So Spencer James is going to move on from L.A. and is going to go to New York to join the New York football Giants. That's right. He's he's joining the Giants, and in his first year, we're about to get underway with his first year as a New York Giant, and a lot of high hopes. They just got the first seed in the playoffs last year. I I do believe they fell short of a championship, but that's why they recruited a guy like Spencer. That's why Spencer's coming, because Spencer could be the missing piece. He was he there's a bunch of missing pieces. He was the only right piece on the on the on the Chargers, so maybe he could fit in right with this Giants team and right. At the end of the season, it shows they get the number one seed in the playoffs. They get the bye. They get the number one seed in the playoffs. The New York Football Giants are back. And, you know, they were back last year. But now they got Spencer James to go along with Danny Dimes. And, you know, they look at, I mean, just look at the schedule. They won out through, after their bye week. They won so many games. For sure, they took, like, what, two, three L's? But that is an insane thing. And look at this. 99 catches, 1,231 yards, 90s. That is his best season of his career so far. And it came with his first year with the Giants. And Carolina does end up beating the Packers, surprisingly, um, by almost a touchdown. So now their first test of this perfect Giants team is going to come against the Carolina Panthers, who made an upset against the Packers. And we're going to see if they made an upset against us, too. And, you know, it was a hard, I'm not, I'm not in line, it was a hard-fought one. Spencer went off this game, but, I mean, it was a little bit off. Um, the Carolina Panthers, they really shine through. They are really upsetting everyone. Um, and they do end up upsetting the Giants. 27-13. Um, to 13. Um, You know, the second seed put up a better, a better um, the second seed put up a better fight, um, than us and uh, best receiver Spencer James gets sixth in voting again, and he does end up making the Pro Bowl. 
um, and has a, actually did have a very successful Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl game. And he he just went off last season. Last season was his best year of his career. And now that he, now that he's fit with the scheme with the Giants, now he really just wants to exceed the competition, and you know he really wants to win the championship this year too. Um, you know, and he he thinks he can do so. You know, since last year, I mean, it can only get better, right? And uh, but you know, tragedy struck when Danny Dimes announced that this would be his last year with the Giants, and he's moving on because of front organization. And it just really took a toll on the team. He ended up skipping games. It was just a whole mess. They didn't end up making the championship. And just look at that. Just take L after L after L, especially near the end of the season. They just took L after L. And there's nothing that Spencer could have do. One week he's, he's, he's playing and practicing with Danny Dimes. The next he's, I don't know, whoever. And it really showed because he only got 69 catches. Didn't break 1,000 yards. Only got six touchdowns. This is by far the worst year of his career. And some, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even know how. I guess it was just a down year for the league in general. But he made the Pro Bowl in his worst year of his career. That should show you how good he is and how much potential he has for the rest of his career. Because even in his worst career, it still wasn't that bad. And he still made the Pro Bowl. Obviously, it wasn't that bad if he made the Pro Bowl. And now they have a new quarterback. It's not the Dimes. I didn't get the guy's name. It was some Madden generated player. But um, he did try his best. And you know, practice hard with this guy, and hopefully he can fit in to make the playoffs this year, um, but they won't actually end up doing that, as it just, I mean, so far, it's just not a match with this quarterback, and, you know, and it really shows, I mean, just look at all these L's after L's after L's, I think this might be one of the team's worst years, but he ended up having 84 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns, so he's back in that consistency level as he was with the Chargers. He's having those Chargers years, you know. His first year with the Giants was his best year of his career. Second one was the worst. Um, third year, right in the middle, right in that consistency that we, that usually follows Spencer James's career. And we're gonna jump. And he made the Pro Bowl last year, by the way. But we're gonna jump straight to the next year's playoffs. They didn't end up making it again. And I mean. I mean, Spencer James, he's just fed up. I mean, look at all these L's. That's all they do is just take L's. After Danny Dimes left, all they do is just take L's. And, uh, I mean, at this point, this past season, they actually brought in, like, a like a almost 40-year-old Russell Wilson to try to, like, bring something out. But he's just, he just wasn't good enough. You know, he's too old. Spencer James did end up getting 86 yards, 1,300 receiving yards, only five touchdowns, and made the Pro Bowl. So, you know, um... Russell Wilson did what the past quarterback, random no-name quarterback, could do and gave Spencer James the ball more and did enough to get Spencer James that ball make end up making him the Pro Bowl. But he just was not the quarterback to lead the Giants to an actual playoff berth um, you know, or a good season. And he is just fed up. And they're going to – they keep on bringing old retired players. And he is just fed up. And he just – I mean, he really wants to go back to the Chargers. You know what I mean? He, he is testing all these – all these places, but everyone says, and plus every year that he's missed the playoffs, the Chargers have made the playoffs, and they finally got things under control. All they need is the as a receiver, and there's talks of him going back there. And you know what? They talk his family, probably Olivia Jordan Baker. I don't know whoever talked him into it. Um, but before we make that decision, uh, he did end up making the Pro Bowl, as I'd already said. Um, and you know he's going to test. Um, Free agency and free agency is, you know, I mean, he only he only had one option in mind. He he gave all these other teams an the opportunity, but this whole time he's had one team, one team in his heart that he wanted to go to, wanted to go back to, I might say, and that's right. He is officially going back to L.A. He is going to leave the Giants, who had the best year of his career there, but he's leaving to go back to the Los Angeles Chargers and hopefully spark something. And, uh, you know, Justin Herbert's got everything under control. This is just the, another added piece back. And he already knows the scheme. So, I mean, he should go off this season, right? And go off, I mean, he did. Um, as the Chargers go, go back to the playoffs with Mr. James, you know what I mean? They get that fifth seed. Um, and the Giants ended up actually making the third seed in the playoffs, which was really surprising to Spencer. You know, hopefully, I mean, probably with Spencer, they probably would have made first seed, which, you know, I bet the Giants 
are regretting you know not making him that big of an offer. But I mean, look at the schedule. It was a really good schedule. I don't know how they only got the fifth seed. Um, I guess the others just went off, and he had 89 catches, 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns. That is his best year of his career being on the Chargers, and it shows because they just won another playoff game with the Chargers. He beat the Texans 24 to 12, and now he's going on to face the Raiders, who are actually the second seed, um, who barely beat the seventh seed, but they are still the second team, second seed, and they ended up beating them. 27 to 21, and now they're going to the AFC Championship against the Jets, who have been dominating the league in the regular season and so far in the playoffs as well. And let me tell you, it was a hard-fought battle. Spencer James led his team in a comeback win. That's right, they won. They're going to the Super Bowl, and they were down tremendously. But Spencer James led them to a comeback because he had almost every touchdown in the game. And then. Um, now they're going, now Spencer James, all, everything has come full circle against the Panthers. They knocked off his Giants team, who had the best career, of his, best season of his career. They knocked off his best team ever. And now he's back with the Chargers facing that, that same team. And, uh, it was a hard fought game. And Spencer absolutely shined in this game as they barely beat the Carolina Panthers, and let me tell you, I I went into the box score and saw like all like saw all the highlights and shit. Uh, but guess what happened, bro? Spencer James made the game-winning touchdown. That's right. It was it was a it was a it was a, a long fade, and they ended up he ended up um, he ended up scoring the game-winning touchdown with. His Chargers against, I didn't even know this until the highlight, the highlight of them will start winning, but Deshaun, Deshaun Watson's um, Panthers, um, and they ended up getting the win, um, you know, Spencer James coming through, and uh, I mean, he really shined this game, and you're about to see um, how well he shined, um, but there you see Justin Herbert showing the trophy and there you see Justin I mean sorry Spencer James with that touchdown and look and look at these stats by Spencer James 10 receiving yards 256 yards two TDs he was the best receiver in the game by far and it just really showed on this it just really showed on the scoreboard and you know and the, the, let me tell you he shined he really shined not only did he get the the game winning touchdown but he was the Super Bowl MVP and it wasn't even just good for him. Justin Herbert won NFL MVP. And it was just, Offensive Player of the Year was Justin Herbert. It was just a good year for the Chargers and Spencer James. And you look at, at Spencer James' career. And why am I going over Spencer James' career? It's because he had to talk with all the people from the show that we see, that we know love. You know, Billy Baker, er, we, everyone. And he has decided, he did everything he wanted to in his career. He made the Pro Bowl every year. He won the Super Bowl with his hometown. And this is how he stacks up against all the receivers. I mean, look at that. And yes, that is right. Spencer James, at probably seemingly the top of his career, has done everything he wanted to do. But he just wants to do more in life than just football. And he did everything he wanted to do. Um, he will not, he barely missed the Hall of Fame. But he is going to be one of the greatest receivers that didn't make the Hall of Fame. And Spencer James is officially retired. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's more videos like this to come. And, uh, you know, good career by Spencer James. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.